My take tonight goes out to all persons in senior management, but perhaps to one in particular, the CEO of the Kenyatta National Hospital. Communication, and crisis communication to be specific, is one of the most important tools you need. Last week, a crisis emerged, one so grave that it got the nation angry. It affected a place we hold dear, a place we go to feel better, a place my niece says should be the safest in the world. Allegations of rape anywhere are grave, but in a hospital, such allegations become an abomination, a national shame. So when it all came to the fore, this is what the chief executive officer had to say in her first briefing to the nation. Listen. The damning and untrue social media report is uttered in bad faith, according to us, and the members of the public of goodwill need to ignore it. Right, so when asked why she is so dismissive of the allegations, she blames, wait for it, the suggestion box. I have said ignore because up to where we are right now, there is not a single complaint that has been registered on such a case. <coughs> not a single one. And we have uh, suggestion boxes in the whole hospital. In fact, there are four of them specifically that are addressed directly to the CEO. And I open personally. And there are other uh, suggestion boxes which we are calling feedback boxes in the rest of the hospital. We have addressed other concerns and complaints in the past. This one has never arisen. Wait, suggestion boxes? to report an allegation of rape? Are you saying, Madam Koros, that if someone attempts to rape a mother who has just got a baby, perhaps even through a caesarean section, she should leave her bed, walk around the hospital, asking for directions to any one of the four nearest suggestion boxes, and report the suggestion of rape? Really? Please, Madam. A rape allegation is not exactly a suggestion or feedback. Also, I'm not sure that a little note dropped in the suggestion box makes the allegation any more credible than a post on social media. And I'm not sure either that the suggestion box has investigative powers to determine the veracity of a claim. But then after asking us to ignore those claims, she then contradicts herself with this statement. We take every complaint seriously, however, we would like to ask any person <coughs> who has experienced any form of sexual harassment within the hospital to report to customer care offices, KNH security office, or call the number 0722-825599 or drop complaints in the feedback boxes in various corridors. Madam, I I'm confused. First, you asked us to ignore the allegation. Then you say you take it seriously. Which is it? Well, so the same journalist at that press conference pressed her again about the safety of those who come forward fearing victimization because they continue to seek medical services at the hospital. Yet again, she minimizes the public's feelings. It's, it's, it's quite absurd uh, if the public feels like that because the truth of the matter is we work together with the public and until and unless they assist us and come out sincerely, then it will be difficult for us to, to address it because social media definitely and other uh, complaints will not address the issue until we come together. We want to uh, assure them that there is not going to be any intimidation when they report this. In fact, we will actually also ensure the confidentiality of whoever reports. So we want to encourage them to come out if anything is really true. Because, again, we don't want to look like we're coming just to the defense. Actually, madam, that is exactly what it looks like. Defensive, dismissive, conflicting, out of touch, especially at this time when the Me Too movement is sweeping across the world. Now, I'm not a hospital administrator, neither am I a doctor, but something at the Kenyatta National Hospital is seriously out of touch with reality. And to think that this is the largest hospital in the country 
makes it even more sickening. In any serious organization, every allegation or complaint, whether rape, dirty floors, poor service, should be treated seriously, thoroughly investigated and concluded to the complete satisfaction of the most important person in a business, the client. And from the statement by the CEO of the Kenya National Hospital, no less, I'm not sure the customer comes first. And that tonight is my take.